So I'm already at the airport waiting for my flight. I have to take a rapid test because in Greece they require it. Yeah, even if you are vaccinated or you had a COVID before. Um, so if you are a Russian citizen, so I, I had to take a test. And now I'm having my coffee and waiting for the flight. This is so funny, the entire wall is dedicated to this. I'm now in Riga airport waiting for my flight to Kos. It's gonna be in around uh, two hours and I'm waiting now very deep. It's um, kind of a thriller, kind of a suspense, kind of a detective, I'm not sure what it is actually. A bit of a romance, a bit. And uh, the next video that I will be filming is hopefully from Greece already. Also, I wanted to mention that you should really check all the documents that you need for your flight to every country that you go. I needed to fill the form for Greece, the form for Latvia, the form for like the test. And uh, yeah, so you need to fill in all, all the forms and make sure you check um, the rules for every country for your specific case. For your country of origin and country from where you're traveling. I'm still not used to look at the camera, I'm looking at the screen to make sure I'm not filming anyone behind me but I think the camera is good at defocusing the background, so yeah. I also took a new batch with me that I made yesterday. It's so cute. It looks like pure evil, but it's so cute. Hi. Hello! It's day one in Kos and we are going to swim and have some food. There you can see Turkey. The point of the ear is chopped, that means that the cat is sterilized. That's the way to tell. Today I'm spending the day alone, my friend is going to be back in the evening and I'm going to walk around the city. Yesterday we just spent the whole day in the beach, like that was my dream come true because I never had this, I've never had this um, opportunity and now I finally spent the whole day in the beach just eating, chilling and swimming and uh, the water is quite warm, uh, it is windy so I don't know, I'm from the north, so for me that's perfect. Uh, at night it's around 19 degrees, during the day around 27. So it's not hot, it's very pleasant and the wind is kind of cooling you down, so even you, even though it's 27, you don't really feel all the heat. So it's perfect. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna go around the city and I'm gonna show you like the, the old town of Kos. It's so cute, like I love the island so much. A lot of things got destroyed in the earthquake in 2017.
is like the cutest uh, sunscreen I've ever seen. It's so tiny. I think these are edible. Do you know this fruit? Or maybe not. This is eucalyptus and it smells incredible. I really enjoy being here because uh, it's very relaxing, quite safe I would say. And uh, people are super friendly. This is the second one for today. on the camera I'm just walking and watching stuff so I'm just showing you what I see and that's it sorry I'm boring I wish I could share the smell in through the video because this is Jasmine and the smell is incredible This is canelada, it's a non-alcoholic drink made with cinnamon and it tastes like pure joy. I didn't take anything with me because I was worried that something might get stolen but actually it's quite safe here so I'm not sure why I did what I did but anyway I'm gonna finally eat because I haven't eaten and it's almost midday Let's have a walk around Kos with me some ruins, I don't know what they are, but they look dope. This is the ancient gymnasium. I decided to check it online before I film so that my videos are useful.
four ruins. This is Agora. Agora, Agora right? Also known as the campus at the university, uh, which I had my classes at, because it was also called Agora. <laughs> this is Hippocrates tree, because he used to work here. So. I don't know what, what he did. What did he do with the tree? Like, did he plant it or no, did no, he no. work under it or what? Historically, I suppose that he was sitting under the tree and teaching. Ah, okay. teaching his Okay, fair enough. We just came out of a bar that is called Never on Sunday. I totally recommend it and thank you for my Greek friend to show me that place. <laughs> Hello. Kalispera Grecula. No, 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 no. There, they're mining the rocks to make this uh, stones for scrubbing the hills. This is an inhabited island, and there is this excavation point. I feel like in Mamma Mia. You know, when she came to the island, it was a bit destroyed, and then she built a beautiful hotel. The crater, that's where we go. Ah, that's the crater. It's one of the best views here. I know. This is the breakfast with the best view I could have possibly had. And there is the great. I feel like I'm in a Mamma Mia. And there was no volcano in Mamma Mia. And I don't have three random men around me, a potential fathering my child. But anyway, it feels like. I'm almost, I'm this close to standing up and singing uh, some ABBA song, but I'm not going to embarrass myself here, I hope, and I'm not, I'm not a good singer so I will be kicked out into the sea. Ah, so there is the... We are going now into a cave which has a high temperature because of the... Oh my god, it's hot! Try to get in, it's a sauna. I don't know if you will be able to see, but look at my glasses. And the lens. Yes, just to give you the idea. Are ever here. That's the hot sauna. Hot free sauna. And you can jump like there. I'm just kidding, don't do it, it's not safe. Yay, we reached the volcano. And we're gonna go down. Are we gonna go down? Yes, we're gonna go down. And uh, it smells like eggs here. Put it in a nice way. Here we observe an influencer in the wild who has his phone in front and films the entire pathway because what if his followers will never know what the pathway to the crater looks like. So yeah, so I'm here with this influencer. 10,000 followers baby. 10,000 where? In my dreams. Exactly. And in mine too. 
that. Sorry for my skinning gig skills. We are on the top of the hill. So this is a chapel or a church? I'm not sure. A tree. <laughs> is my camera clean? I just hope it is. Let's see. My friend. I don't know. He's what he's doing. So this is the volcano. That's the sea. It's a pity that in YouTube I cannot put ABBA music because it's copyrighted. Otherwise, I would recreate the entire musical, to be honest. Here. The scene where uh, they get married or the baptism scene. Perfect for this place. shorts in October on a motorbike in the evening. These are the ones who own the city actually. Good morning everyone. I'm on my way to have some breakfast and guess who has her voice almost killed because she was shouting Appa songs from the motorcycle. Me. Uh, we were driving last night all the way from town that I don't remember the name, I will write it somewhere, um, to Kos, Kos city and um, I was wearing shorts and we were driving like 70 kilometers per hour and it was very chilly and to distract myself I was just singing and the whole day was like so full of Mamma Mia vibes that I couldn't just uh, not sing uh, Mamma Mia songs. Okay, I have no idea how to eat this. 
But at least I ordered coffee without sugar. This is an insane amount of food for one person, but it looks delicious. We are now going to Thermal, thermal Springs or whatever baths. Uh, where it smells just as nicely as at the crate. I'm looking forward to We are having dinner and this is the first dish, it's called tacos. It has bread on the bottom and it has tomatoes and cheese feta. Feta, and olives. Then, yeah, olives and is it capers? Yes. And some spices, some herbs. So Oregano. Uh -huh. Oregano. It's considered a salad, uh, originally from uh, Creta. Okay. So we wait till the bread soaks and then we just break it. And this is why we came here, because I'm obsessive about these mushrooms. They have garlic and parsley. And then these are, this is chicken cooked with tomato sauce. Pita with spices. The spices taste a bit like tahin. And then this is peas, like a puree of peas. With some onion on top. And that used to be tacos. Om nom nom nom. Peacocks here, it's crazy. What can you say about the people of this island? Do you like the living on this island? Just making new friends here. I hope they don't bite me. But they seem friendlier than seagulls, you know, or geese. So the male ones usually have the, the tail like that. Most of these are male. And then there's a lady. I finally found the lady. You see the, the tail is very ordinary kind of. I hope she doesn't understand and start running after me saying like why do you call me ordinary? I have a new driver, so are you taking me to the airport? Please? 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 Sir? Ma'am? Whatever you are, please, can you drive me to the airport? We now came to, I think it's called Stefanet Beach and uh, it's quite nice, there are some ruins so walking around and enjoying I'm already 
already in Riga waiting for my boarding. So I hope you liked what I made. And see you soon.